So what is HDFS? It stands for Hadoop Distributed File System. That means as a programmer, you don't have to create those uh, chunks or divide those data. It will be divided by Hadoop Distributed File System. Now let's see how it works. So let's say you have uh, you have a data of of six MB. Okay, and you want to upload this data on server. So where do you will upload? Maybe Dropbox. Okay. So how many how many of you use Dropbox here? Is it safe? No. There's there's nothing called as security in this unsecure world. It's not safe. Okay, but no choice. We have to store data somewhere. Maybe Google server. Maybe Dropbox server. Is it secure? Means. Uh, Let's say you want to store a data somewhere for 50 years. Where you will store? In CDs, scratch, in pen drive. You cannot store data in pen drive. It's because pen drive has a, a, a lifetime. Because depending upon the capacitor capacity, it will store that data for maybe one month or two, two months or three months. What about hard drives? Kind of maintain करना पड़ेगा. What about uh, cloud servers? You can store, right? So let's say you are using a Dropbox server. So here's a Dropbox server. So we will upload this file on Dropbox server. So how much space it requires? Six MB. Simple. But let's say someday you have this file here, and one day let's say this server is in Pakistan, or in let's say in Bangladesh. And there was some attack on this server, some physical attack, maybe a bomb or earthquake or something. Server gone, data gone. Now you will ask Dropbox, where is my data? What Dropbox will say? Acha, your data is more important than our life, <laughs> right? So data gone, right? Is it? Your data is important than their life because data is more important. In fact, when I was working for LNT, so uh, we had this quote: "Data hamara beta hai," which means your, your data is more important than you. Okay, so that means what they do? They don't store your data at one place. They store your data at multiple locations. So let's say your data is also here. So you will store your data in two servers. But two servers enough? Let's say one is stored in USA, second is Bangladesh. And at the same time, there was two attacks. Data gone. So what they do? They use three servers. And then you will say, what about they were attacked at three different places? Then it's okay. Okay. We cannot have five different servers for one person. So they, what they do? They create three backups. They have multiple servers, but they have maximum three backups. Clear? So they will store here, here, and here. Now. Now let's say you want to download that file now. So in future, you want to download that file. How will you download? From one of the server. Let's say you choose this server. So what will be downloading speed? Let's say your internet speed is one MBP, one Mbps. So what will be the download speed? One Mbps. It also depends upon the server's uploading speed. If your server upload speed is 512 kbps, obviously you will get 512. Getting a point? So you have a download speed of 1 mbps. The server has 512 kbps as an upload speed. So the download speed you will get is 512 kbps, not 1 mbps. Getting a point? So that's why instead of fetching data from one location, what if you can fetch fetch the data from two different locations? 512, 512. Half data from this server and half data from this server. Is it amazing? And that's why what Hadoop does. Instead of storing that data at one location as a one chunk, Hadoop will store your data in this way. Let's say you have this six MB file. It will create three three blocks of that file. Each block will be of size two MB. So six MB chunk, right? It will create. Three chunks of each chunk will be of two MB. 
Let's name this chunks as A, B and C. So first step, this A will go to this server. And now you have, now you have A here. This, this B will go here. You have B here. And this C will go here. Till now, you don't have any backup. You have one single single file. Then, this B will go, to the, go here. This C will go here. You have to upload once. But Hadoop file system, what it will do? It will create backups. Then this A will go here. This B will go here. And this A will come here. This C will go here. And this is how they share information. It, everything is done by Hadoop file system. As a user, you have to upload once. And automatically you will get three backups using three different files. The advantage. You have three backups. Advantage. When you want to fetch next time, you will get data from multiple servers. Maybe C from here, maybe A from here and B from here. And the speed of downloading will be dependent upon your download speed, not their upload speed. It's because when you combine all the upload speed, it will be, it will be more than your download speed. And this is how you are able to fetch data that fast. If you observe, when you watch, how many of you use cable net? When you watch YouTube videos, you get full speed. It's because of this concept. They create multiple cache at multiple locations. And you can fetch data from multiple locations. You have ISP, local ISPs. So every ISP will store your data or cache your files. That's a different topic, you know. So this is how it works. And it, everything is done by who? Had you file system. Simple? Okay. Now question arrives. They have, uh, oh, Hadoop is open source, right? So they, they should have, they must be behind using any uh, open source language. Any guess which language is used to create Hadoop? Java. It's Java. So Hadoop is built in Java for multiple reasons. First, Java is scalable. That's why Hadoop is scalable. Hadoop ne need uh, robustness. Java provide robustness. Hadoop need open source technology and Java is open source. Hadoop needs support. Java has support. From Java community, community, from Java one community, from Oracle company, and from lots of companies, they provide Java support to Hadoop. Clear? And there are lots of contributors to Hadoop. One is uh, uh, Hawthorne Works, then we have Cloudera company. There are lots of companies who work on Hadoop technology. And the major provider is your company called as Apache company. And that's why when you when you learn about Hadoop somewhere, it will be always Apache Hadoop. Because they maintain all the work of, or they maintain Hadoop framework. Apache company. Are about Apache? Yeah. Where? Uh, actually, uh, I set up PHP to Apache. Achha, yeah. PHP, when you work with PHP, you have to work with Apache servers. What about you? Obviously. From PHP. From? From you. That's a from me. Apache? PHP. PHP. Everyone? What about you, Shiva? Apache Tomcat. You have for Java web servers, we have Apache Tomcat. For uh, PHP, we use BAM. There are lots of Apache servers out there. So, Apache believe in open source. And that's why I love Apache. And one of the reasons why I hate Microsoft because they don't believe in open source technology. In fact, Apple don't believe in open source technology. And that's why they have more money. Huh? No choice. I use Google also. I use Google uh, Cloud also. Good point. Eh? <laughs> okay. Where was I?